Hi there guys, so I hope you enjoyed the low point video where I was educating you all about strike and how that low point occurs after the ball. Now we're going to focus all of our attention based around the actual swing direction. The direction that golf club travels through the hitting area and the difference between swing direction and club path. Uh, many people think it's the same. I'll explain to you how it slightly differs. So I'm going to pitch a, uh, a few shots away. We've got the uh, trackman set up uh, and then we're going to have a real good look at my, my data and seeing how my swing direction uh, is shaping up and also how an improved swing direction can really help how we can stabilize the face through the hitting area and keeping that face to target. So I want to pitch a few away and then we're going to have a good look at my data. Okay, so taking a look at my data, I've got four shots here to look at. The first thing which stands out to me is they're all going slightly left of my target and the flights are all indifferent. So last time we spoke all about the low point. So where you see the club head, that's where we struck the ball. Now where you see that vertical line, that's where the golf club got to its low point. So today I'm going to flip this around. So now we're looking down the line of the target, straight down the line of where I'm hitting this golf ball. I want you to take a good look now at the uh, this angle here. So we can see how the golf club is traveling ever so slightly to the left of the target line. So my swing direction, which is measured from knee height on the downswing to knee height post impact there is slightly to the left. My club path, however, which is the little blue line that we can see here is ever so slightly to the right. So this is where there, there's a difference between swing direction and club path. Uh, the path is slightly to the right because I'm actually striking slightly down on the on the golf ball. So I'm 3.6 degrees down on the golf ball. So when I'm striking down on the golf ball and because the club head hasn't yet got to the low point of the swing arc, the path is just that little bit to the right side. So what I would like to see, or my goal with my own pitching, I would like to see my swing direction a little bit more to the uh, to the left. And in fact, the club path a little bit more to the left side. Then for me then to hit a straight shot, I've then got to hold my face to target for, uh, for longer. Because now as I select my club face, so this is the problem for my pitch in here, what we've seen today, uh, which affects my direction. My club face is some 2.1 degrees closed. So closed meaning going left. So if my club face is closed, it affects direction, obviously, but also strike. The bottom leading edge digs in affects my contact. Um, it can have an effect on the, the actual height of my golf shots as well, you know, being that little bit indifferent. So we're going to take a close look now on my, um, vi from the video here, from down the line of the golf shot here. So we're going to see, uh, this is the shot in question, aiming straight for uh, the trampoline. So we've got to get creative here. And the white line is my target line. So when we're going to, so we're going to take a look at my golf swing. So this has gone 35 yards, now, as I approach impact, there we go. We can see the blue line start to, uh, to appear here. The blue line is my club path. The red line that we're seeing here is my face angle. So we can see my face angle there, just that little bit to the, to the left of the path line as we take a look again here from that little bit closer. So I would like to see, ideally, the blue line moving slight, just slightly to the left of the target and the red arrow here, which is my face angle, looking towards the target for longer, giving me a higher, softer flight, just avoiding the oak tree branches here, as you can, uh, as you can see. So um, I've straight away, I've got something to, uh, to work on there so that my club path is influencing my face. Here, taking a, a different view of my golf swing, I've just put a couple of plane lines on here and the, the pink plane line here, is pretty much where I'd want to be swinging the, uh, I want the golf club traveling. So it's right in between um, the shaft plane and the shoulder plane. So we can see the pink plane line here. So the way I'm moving the golf club is, uh, is pretty good. But when we can see my ball dispersion here, everything is slightly to the left, caused by the face slightly closing through strike. The face slightly closing through strike is caused by the path ever so slightly out to the right. So hopefully you can see how they're all kind of linked together here. The total uh, dispersion, as you can see here, the distance is a little bit indifferent. That wasn't a concern of mine because I wasn't actually hitting a set distance shot. But for me, what I'm going to go away and work on is the path a little bit more to the left and the club face more to target.
Hi there guys, so I hope you enjoyed the, um, the screencast there and I hope you've uh, learnt a little bit there about how the, the path influences face and the difference there between path and swing direction. So if I think it's really important that everybody's got a good understanding there of which way their golf club is travelling through the hitting area. Because as I find from, uh, from coaching, lots of people's, uh, what they think they're doing is actually a little bit different to what they are doing. So uh, path can be deceiving. So, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the casts, um, I hope you enjoyed the actual videos which the Academy team are posting. Uh, check out uh, our online coaching because uh, I know all the guys there are pretty busy there and we're absolutely blown away there with the, the feedback we've had from the online coaching platform. So, uh, any questions please comment below or you can uh, send it uh, direct via email or messenger and we look forward to uh, seeing you all really soon. Stay safe.